Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and I hope you're as excited as me to see this beautiful piece of machinery because we're back in Lawn Mowing Simulator, ladies and gentlemen. And hold on to your hats because string trimmers are here. God damn it. I have been wanting these since we first came out. My God, this one has a backpack. It's like straight out of freaking Ghostbusters. How does that even work? Is the backpack a battery or is that where the clippings go? I gotta assume that's just a giant battery. Yeah, you know what? Judging by the fact that the power type is battery, that's definitely just a giant battery pack. You know what? We're gonna buy that one. Oh my god, that was a thousand dollars. I think I need more than one because I think every one of my employees need needs one as well. Anyways, we're back into it. I should mention there's a DLC out now. The Ancient Britain DLC. So hopefully we can get some new maps today and uh, see what they're all about. All right, so all these ones are old ones that we've done. I want to get something that we can actually use the weed trimmer for. So I think this garden should be good. There's a lot of things that we have to go around. All right, so yeah, now we got more pieces of equipment to enjoy. Now, before that, we got to make sure there's no balls and crap in here. There usually is. Oh, and would you look at that? It's one of those crack pets from this video's sponsor, The Crack Pet Show. The Crack Pet Show is an action-packed roguelike shoot 'em up where you control mutated animals that fight in a bizarre TV show. Choose your beastie and gear it up with a variety of insane weapons to kill the opposition in the name of fame and sponsorship deals. Use your newfound fame to help upgrade every item and every perk to deal even more damage when you head out again. Every episode or level of the show is randomized, so you'll never have the same run twice in a row. The game's visuals is everything you love about old school gore cartoons like Happy Tree Friends. It's cute, colorful, and of course, absolutely chaotic. The game is super fun running solo, but it's best played as a couch co-op with up to four people. Play smart and synergize with the team or bash their teeth in when they try and steal your power-ups. Every dirty trick in the book is valid and every strategy works as long as you are having fun. The game is available now in early access on Steam and they plan on a full release in 2022 for PC and all major consoles. And if you want to know more about the game, I'll have a link at the top of this video's description. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Now let's get back to grass cutting. Who the hell's playing with rockets out in the back? Oh, and two guard gnomes. That's not horrifying. I honestly thought they were rockets again. <laughs> There's just three rockets chilling out here. But it's even more creepy that the garden gnomes are just chilling. All right, so here we go. We have our little string trimmer, electric. I wonder if we could just cut the whole yard with it. No, that would be insane. Let's not... I, I, I didn't say that because I know you guys would probably want it, you sick bastards. Okay, you actually do have to aim it, though. Like, I can't look up because it, it actually lifts it up. I don't really know if it's going to be that useful for something like this because we can kind of just cut around. I'm going to try and... Uh, oh, God. This might be even worse than using a, a rider. I figured if we expand this out, we, we lessen the risk of taking out gardens. But honestly, I don't know what's harder, walking or driving. I'm having a hard time walking straight. I'm not even drunk. All right, where I think this thing will truly become helpful is something like this or trees where it's just really round and annoying because trying to go around these things is the worst. So at least we can make this a little bit bigger so I don't destroy everything on these because I always do. I, I, I just run them over. I just take the damage because, yeah, just destroying gardens is just part of my task at this point. I think that's all we need it for for this first job. The rest should be pretty easy to do on the rider. All right, and it's good to be back out on my big standy boy. Oh my God, I forgot how fast this thing is. <laughs> We're gonna get this job done in seconds. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm just taking out so much of this. I probably should have used the trimmer to get around here. The penalties really aren't too bad in this game, though. If, if, if they were way worse, I would definitely take more time. But honestly, sometimes it's just worth it to get a penalty. Oh, my God. I just just stroll. Oh, my God. Just fire me already. All right. Well, that was fun. I got to be honest. No, cutting is not complete. Shut up. It's good to be back, man. I haven't played this game in like a month. And for some weird reason, I have dearly missed it. Now, I do know that all we have to do for the grass trimmings is get anything off pathways or inside gardens. So last time I used this thing, I was annoyed because I was trying to pick up every piece of grass clippings. I think it's just anything that's in gardens or on pathways. All right, so yeah, that wasn't too bad. Let's get the hell out of here. How the hell do I leave? Oh, why? Why in the passenger seat? What the hell? That's so weird. Okay, whatever. 
All right, and there we go. I ha Okay, may maybe they increased the price of Flowers Destroyed. Now $31 of Flowers Destroyed and $3 in collisions. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but I only got paid 400. So almost 10% of it went to my stupidity. That's okay though. I'm not here to make lots of money anyways. I, I let my employees do that for me. All right, I'm pretty sure this is a new one. I don't think we've ever done the pub garden and being if there's ancient in the name. I mean, the DLC is called Ancient. This has to be new. So we're definitely going to check out this one. It's going to be a hard one as well, which would be great. Requires Mulcher. Okay, well, I guess we'll go on the sit guy this time. And do we have any other big payments this time? Yes, there you go. Get, get to work, workers. Okay, this should be a pretty good payday. I feel like this is going to be the hardest job we've done in a while, too. Just judging by the stars. I think it was four and a half stars out of five. So, yeah, that's... Oh, my God. There's so many things we can hit. Fantastic. Well, this would be a good use of the uh, new trimmer, at least. Wait, this is a pub? What? Why is there a playground at a pub? Is that normal in Britain? Drop the kids off, have some fun in the backyard while you go and get wasted? Is that is, is that how it works? Well, I have to say, I thought having seven objects would be hard. We're going for a world record here. If I can just find the last one. Aha, there it is. I think that was some dried poop. Great. All right, so grass is currently 13 to 21, rather long. Thankfully, we don't have to go too low, only seven to eight. So we're going to go a nice 760, turn it on, and... Be very careful here and get started. This lawnmower isn't as fast as my other one, I don't think. So that means we probably won't damage as many things. Oh my god, I didn't see that pole over here. Yeah, this is uh, this is just a map designed to... Oh, god damn it! This is a map designed to screw you up. And so far, I mean, clearly it's working quite well. I, I need to stay away from the edge. I need to remember we have... Fan god damn it! We have fancy trimmers now. We, we don't need to cut so close. And, uh, well, two flowers down already. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get too many more. Oh, my God. I, I swear to God. Just just fire me. I mean, I, I, I know I'm the boss, but somebody has to be better than me at this point. That was three flowers for a whole wraparound. I, I mean, it could be worse, but it definitely could be better as well. All right. I don't want to go too close to the playground equipment either because I'm going to damage my own vehicle. So, again... We're just going to do all the easy spots right now. I'm going to do my best to not get into too many difficult spots. Okay, and after a long process of uh, driving around... Great, great, great ending, Trey. But yeah, after a long process of driving around like a maniac, hopefully not as much as usual. But yeah, we're done that part. Now let's use the string trimmer where it's going to truly shine. And we'll just, you know... We'll just fine tune this a little bit. This is still very, very scary. We saw that I can easily cut these things in the last run. So I still have to very much take my time. I don't know if this is the best option, honestly. I wish the string part was bigger. I wonder if you can dictate how big you want it to be like in real life. I don't think you can, which is very unfortunate because this thing's too small. Oh, well, there goes one. Yep, freaking called it. I almost wish there was a way to slow down your walk speed because he walks like a crazed maniac. Can I actually sprint with this? Oh, God, you can. That's a bad idea. Oh, God, why are the flowers so close to the edge? You should never have flowers this close to the edge. God damn it, I'm so angry right now. There goes another one? Sir, I didn't even see a flower there. You're lying at this point. You know what? I think I'm just going to stop getting maps with any sort of flowers. I don't care how much money I make. Flowers are the worst thing to exist in this game. All right, I think that's pretty much the whole perimeter done. Uh, now we got to do the inside, which this will be where this thing truly is nice. Going around gardens, still no fun at all. But this, I don't have to worry about destroying anything except my sanity. And uh, yeah, this is uh, where this thing's actually going to be helpful. God damn it, another one? I swear I'm trying, guys. I'm so... Uh, God damn... I'm done. I'm done. You know, uh, I'm actually not done because I need 0.9 more of a percent to finish this hellhole. Plus, I haven't done any of the playground, so we should probably go over and do that. Got to make sure your bar playground is nice and pretty. I mean, that's the important part, right? Oh, dude, I missed a lot here, though. This is this is actually nice. There's something very zen about doing this, even more, more than cutting the lawn itself. Playing with this thing is just fun when you're not having to deal with flowers. Okay, I think that's pretty good. 99.4, I'll take it. Not my proudest job, as you can see. Do you, do you, do you like my striping skills? <laughs> uh, they didn't ask for striping, to be fair, so I don't care. Oh, I was like, why am I getting in the passenger seat? I forgot they drive on the wrong side of the car in this part of the world. <laughs> so that makes more sense. All right, there we go. Now, the question is, 
how much penalties did we get last time it was 30 dollars. this time not as bad as you can see flowers we only had eight dollars so definitely i think mowing before weed whacking is the way to go and give me all that beautiful money are you serious ella called in sick no excuses, goddammit. You're even here on the main screen, you liar. All right, I have been desperately trying to get some of the new levels in my campaign, but for whatever reason, they're not popping up for me. So we're gonna have to go into Freemo just to see a few of the new ones. Unfortunately, I still haven't unlocked some of the coolest levels in this game. Getting to these ranks is next freaking level. I'm only professional one, and then there's a steamed after professional as well. So one day, maybe we can, you know, mow a castle. But for right now, we're going to have to go down a little bit. I believe there's a few levels in here. Yeah, these three are definitely new. I think I want to do the Royal Stones just because it kind of looks like Stonehenge. So yeah, let's get out there. You know what? We haven't used the Knight in a while. And honestly, actually, sorry, not the Knight. I almost picked the wrong one. Well, it is the night, but it's the OFT. We haven't used this big boy in a while, and it's actually my most expensive lawnmower. I feel like it'd be good with the Weed Whacker as well, because it's not very maneuverable, but it does have a big blade on it. So we can get into the cracks with this Weed Whacker and then utilize the big blade to hopefully get this done quickly. And here we are at, well, that's a sad, okay, there's the more Stonehenge. So we have multiple different rock areas. All right, it is really raining out too. I never really had to deal with rain. I might be regretting this decision. All right, I'm gonna have to get used to the articulated frame as well. This is not like any of my other lawnmowers. And we are engaged. I'm just gonna throw it right into the uh, <laughs> gardens here. I thought this thing had a mulcher on it. I guess it didn't. That's okay. Oh crap, am I doing the wrong cut height? Uh, oh my God, I am. You know what? We might even wanna do a, a double pass on this. Let's lower the cut height just to see if my motor red lines. Uh, actually, I am shocked it's not redlining, so I guess we'll have to go four, but I got to go another pass back just to make sure this spot is uh, all the way down to four centimeters, and I am redlining a bit, as you can see, so we might even want to do a double pass. We'll see how difficult this truly is. All right, you know what? This can actually handle full throttle most of the time. There's certain areas that just, just like there that are a little bit thicker and my engine definitely redlines a bit. But the great thing about this lawnmower, which I didn't know, is it goes in reverse right away. My other lawnmowers, it takes a while to engage. So even if you do redline a bit, it's not too bad because you back up immediately. This is, uh, I've underestimated how great this lawnmower is. Oh, oh, I'm sorry for your historical monument or whatever this is considered. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go this way. I might need to do a lot more weed whacking than I should, but I don't want to constantly hit these damn rocks. This has actually been a very fun job. I'm just kind of like weaving through the rocks, yet keeping almost a full speed all the way through, and it's going oddly well. You can especially see kind of how I've been doing it over here. Uh, as you can see, around all the rocks, there's still... God damn it, of course, the moment I talk is the moment I screw up. But there's still a lot of grass around the rocks, but that's what the Weed Whacker's for. So we're basically done those rocks, and we still have a lot to do over on these guys over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what the hell is going on? Rock? Please let me go. Oh, thank God. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are we okay? Okay, we're officially nearing the end. 95% done. I'm just kind of wrapping around the final few. As you can see, it's a total mess in here. But hey, it's actually going well. It's been fun with the giant knight. I definitely will go around and do one more pass with the knight, making sure I get some of these big areas that I left. Uh, cut down a bit, but I'm honestly worried about uh, lawnmower damage. I have hit quite a bit just because, you know, maybe this wasn't the best lawnmower to choose. It sure is fun to use, but it still is extremely long, even with that articulated frame. Uh, yeah, getting around some corners is a little dangerous. Oh, not again. Not again. What is wrong with this freaking rock? It's evil. It's doing it again. I'm just trying to pass the rock now. Okay, there's some bug here. It's it's just this one rock. Go well around that. There we go. All right, I think that's more or less good enough. The rest we'll get with the old weed whacker. That's why we brought it. That was fun. That was a challenge with the rain and everything, but I had a blast. Let's just, you know, throw this on here. And how do I get off this thing again? 
I think it's hold B, right? Yes. And now let's, uh, oh, sweet. We can do two things at once. We can pick up grass and cut these final little pieces at the same time. All right, and there we go. Perimeter of the garden. Did I really? Those are, oh, God. This is a garden. This is not a freaking garden over here. Those are freaking weeds, man. Better pick up grass or they're going to get penalized for, you know, leaving them in the weed area. Anyways, perimeter is now done. Now for the fun part, we still have a little over 1% of grass out there, and it's probably mostly around these rocks. Oh, look, cutting's complete. I could technically leave if I want to, but you know what? I hate that it allows me to do that. Sure, I'm just going to leave all these rocks extremely ugly. No, of course, we're going to get it done right. Let's see if we can get 100%. Okay, is that all of them? I think I did it. I did forget about this garden over here. Also, the entrance might have a little bit, if I remember correctly. And yes, I did forget about this garden. Let's make sure it's nice and clean of grass as well. Do a quick wrap around, clean it up, and uh, get the hell out of here. That was actually a very zen job. I truly enjoyed this place. All right, goodbye, Ghetto Stonehenge. It was fun. I'll see you later. Look at how good it looks now with the creepy crows all around. Oh, it doesn't even give me stats. Oh, I'll never know how good I did. Damn it. All right, well, I guess if you're insane and you just want to mow grass and not see your stats, free mow is for you. All right, guys, but on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of Lawn Mowing Simulator here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the new Weed Whackers as well as a couple of the new levels. I'll probably wait for another update to check out this game again. Don't get me wrong, it is really fun, but honestly, I don't feel challenged enough in this game. Even some of the hardest levels are pretty damn easy, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping they can become more challenging as the game gets developed. But yeah, there's still a lot more lawnmowers we can buy and whatnot. So if you guys do enjoy this, let me know by hitting that like button. And yeah, thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.